Tonight on Eorzean Hoarders, Wesk is faced with an inventory where he doesn't know where to start. Your hoarding is so bad even your pictures are mixed together. I can't even tell if these are different items. They're the same, aren't they? Can he find his way through this maze of clutter? Or will the walls close in on him? Prepare yourself for an episode unlike we've seen before. Something's fishy with your inventory and I think I figured out what. This dangerous dance of an episode starts right now. Welcome to Aeorzean Hoarders. I'm your host, Wes Calber. I'm here to save the inventories and the lives of adventurers all around Aeorzea. Those of you suffering from chronic hoarding are being crushed, but hope is not lost. Together we can conquer your hoarding, and for all you watching, pay close attention and you too might be set free. Tonight we visit Shoryuken Pizza, whose failed marketing plans are only just the beginning of their woes. Let's see what kinds of sales we can manage for them and clean up their act. Maybe figure out why they hoard along the way. Let's start with... I... Uh, uh... Oh dear. These pictures, they're so out of order. I sent the pictures along. That was what was asked, right? I grabbed what I could. It was a bit difficult, but I did get in the pictures. Your hoarding is so bad, even your pictures are mixed together. Where do I begin? Oh no, I think I need to reorder these myself. Let's do that and then... Give me a moment. Once I do that, we can begin. Already faced with a difficult job, Wesk spends time reorganizing the given pictures. Along the way, he finds what he sees to be quite disturbing. We're in for quite a ride. What I just saw... It's scary. But I guess I'll just start with the basic inventory. There's a lot of problems starting just here and seemingly no rhyme or reason to your ordering. This three stack of materia? Why? Sell it or vendor it as I doubt you're using it much. If you really are using materia on jobs as you level them, that's fine. But materia is something you have no reason to keep on you at all times. That goes for all the rest of it. Store on your retainers instead. A singular ink and a singular ring? Toss them. If they're just sitting here, you're definitely not using them. Can make a few gil on the market for the ink. The ring is probably long past usefulness since your gatherers are maxed. Now for these potions. What is with all of these? Are you raiding on multiple jobs? That seems weird, but not impossible. These no quality ones though? They're not useful. If you're in a situation where you want to be potting, you're probably using high quality ones. That's when you're pushing in rages and such. Mid prog, it's kind of a waste since you're not even going to be getting to the end. One person potting is such a small boost to damage compared to everyone doing it. Trade out any potions you aren't using. All this food? I do recognize each of them. I can see them as currently in use, unlike the giant materia pile after it. You really aren't going to be melding that often, nor would you need these glamour items on you at all times. But they're more commonly used. At least get rid of the clear prisms. Crafting them is so bad compared to other sources like Grand Company turn-ins. Having to spell as though tells me you're not using the glamour dresser system? Use it. Now we're getting into fishing stuff. And by that I mean actual fish. Why are you carrying 500 fish on you? Just right click it? Decent and go grab a drink, make some dinner, something while your character does the work for you, or just sell them to the nearest vendor. I highly doubt if they were useful to you as a selling item, you would be holding on to them. I've collected almost every fish. I never carried this many fish on me. Next, we have a triple triad card, and a few more around. Take a quick trip to the saucer on the weekend. Go visit Rose for the weekly glamour judgment and free MGP. Go do mini cactpot. Sell your cards to them and get more MGP. If you can't use them, you should be rid of them. Get some free MGP out of it, or toss them. Holding six different cards for no reason? Why? 500 jugs of milk and 270 eggs. This inventory probably is enough to kill all of the Garlean army with a single sniff, it's so spoiled. Why are you holding this all? No way you're crafting anything with it like this. Nor are you doing anything with a singular totem. You're going to get the mount in 99 clears or sooner. One totem doesn't make the difference. And if you were to store it, put it in your saddlebag. 431 
find sand. Throw it away. Sell it to the first vendor you see. The other 500 fish you have will fill this back up instantly. Just sell it. It's so easy to get more, and it's basically free on the market board. Along with whatever these scales are, and that 120... Cinnabar, is it? I hope that's not Cinnabar. Market them, or make use of them. Jeez, this inventory doesn't end. There's so many different things. These housing items. Get an apartment or get rid of them. You have way too much stuff to be poor. And if you are, well, that's why you need to be selling this junk instead of pointlessly hoarding it. We got some sky spoils here. Can you even obtain these anymore? Spend them and get rid of the rest. Some cooking oil, normal oil, and a whetstone. Market them. This Bismarck minion? Think that's Bismarck at least. Why is that here? Use it, sell it, or let a friend have it. Which you can give to them via the mail moogles. You don't even need to go up to them. A Bogia paper. Use it or trade it in. I see you have a lot of chests, which I assume are Bogian lock boxes. While turning in the paper, you can open these to sell the contents. Though you may want to wait on opening those, since you have so much else to sell first. We have these six screws. What are these here for? Just toss them. And this hat. I think that's a hat. This should be in your armory chest, if anywhere. And it's pretty clear you're not really using it. Now for the last two big things. These bags of coins. They're made for selling. Just sell them. If you want to maximize your profits, give them to the Domen Enclave. Every week, you can double up to 20,000 gil worth of vendoring items. These gold bags are perfect for that. A 500 gil bag is now worth 1,000. It actively pays to not hoard. Finally, all these dies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven different dies? Most of them are stacks of three, which seems like it was from quest rewards. How many of these can you even just get from random vendors? How many are easily craftable? If you aren't using it, you don't need to store it. Sell it to someone who will make use of it. Alright. I think we can take on the Chocobo Saddlebag next. Mostly because it should be a quick fix. Most of it is Materia. Put all this on a retainer. Not so close by. You don't need it on short notice. Same for those potions. Worthless. Are those High Cordials or Ethers? Put those with your normal cordials and use them for gathering. And that singular tea? Sell it. And now we have... what? A second pile of the same items. Why do you have 108 Bogia coins here too? And an Aglaia coin. This is two items taking up four spaces for no reason. And I bet these chests are among the same ones as in your main inventory. Combine them together instead of having them take up multiple slots. The die, sell it off. The crafting items, if you have a project, use them or sell them off. The housing items, put them in an apartment or actual house. The ambers, are those vile can or just a craft item? Figure it out and decide if you're using it. My guess is, we need to toss it. The rest of this I could say you are maybe using or going to use with returns to Bogia, except those tombstones. Why are you holding on to Moogle tombstones? You literally cannot get more of these. Trade these in for what you want, and toss the rest. Is this really how bad your hoarding has gotten? You're trying to store currency that can no longer be obtained? Spend it, you have to spend it. And get rid of those 15 feathers. Those are the PvP wings, aren't they? Who even uses those? If those are silver chocobo feathers instead? Well, you'd still need to be rid of them. Figure out what gear you want to buy with them. Oh, Railger, I need a break. This is putting me for a spin. This episode sponsored by twitch.tv slash Wes Galberg. Hee hee! 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 He he. He he. Does this look fun to you? Come watch Wes Galbert play many different games over on Twitch. Before we went on break, Wes was at the end of his rope. Pete's inventory and saddlebag alone were enough to cause him problems. It was a long process and a lot of work, but hopefully he's begun to get through to Pizza about how bad the hoarding has gotten. He's about to move on to the armory and retainers now. Alright, I've taken a break. I think I'm ready to move on. It's a tough job and it will be even tougher for you. 
But if you can just follow my advice, you can get through it easy. And next, we are gonna have to work on your armory and retainers, okay? I never expected he would need a break. I didn't think it would be this bad. I just hope he's right that I can get through it. Alright, when sorting through your pictures, I just put the armory chest ones in order of submission. So it'll still be going a little bit all over, but I want to take care of this before the big retainer job I'm sure is ahead. So first we have... Ah, the bracelets. Only seven slots left, and only eight of the items being used for gear sets. That's a problem. It says your gear is just another pile of odds and ends. Looking at your levels, the only job currently being leveled is Red Mage. There's way more items here than just Red Mage items. Are any of these actually potentially useful for leveling your melee jobs as such? These two bracelets might even be the same one. If you're saving it for your melee jobs, at least don't have duplicates. Rings. Good god, your rings. It's even worse than your bracelets. Most of these aren't even in use. So many of these are no quality and worthless. Like, I think these are Stormblood rings? This one here is definitely a Heavensward ring, but no quality. You might as well not even have them. It's not like they're dungeon items, so the stat penalties probably aren't worth it. Especially when you have Tome gear and Script gear for your crafters when you level them. This? This is way too much. All these pieces of gear that have passed their usefulness, sell off or give to your grand company for seals. And if you're going to level your crafters and some of these gear pieces are for them, here's what you can do. First, clean your inventories like I'm here to help you with. Then, take time to level them all at once, not one at a time. Between leaves and quests and tribes and so many ways to gain EXP, they level fast. You can even hit up the Ishgardian Firmament and condense your ingredient needs by miles. You level so fast, so easily, and with only Firmament work. It does a lot less damage to your inventory, too. Feet, all the same issues here, too. So many no-quality shoes and other gear pieces not even in use. If you're going to be leveling your crafters, again, do them all. And get these cleaned out. Earrings? Wow, you have so much room? Are those the earrings of the just? The story ones from the old art intro, I mean. I think you could just glam address to those, or even toss. It could just be the normal gear version, Either way, that can probably go, but this is probably the least to worry about. Oh, necklaces too. Pretty empty. Following the advice as the rings and wrists, you can probably get rid of a few things still, but hardly an issue at the moment. Just don't let these become an issue. Pants, what is even going on here? These two right at the bottom. They're no quality and the exact same item, aren't they? And then these blue ones. I can't even tell if these are different items. They're the same, aren't they? Four, no, five? No quality pants of the exact same kind. This is on top of the issues I mentioned with the other spots. How much of this is just old and not usable anymore? And no quality doesn't belong on a battle job after you hit level 50. Hell, arguably level 15. Chess pieces! Wait, that's the red mage gear pieces. Why are these here? You're not using them in gear sets and you don't need to carry glamour on you. So what gives? Is that also in the... Yeah, that one piece was the Red Mage pants. These should be stored away for glamour, not in your armory chest. And it continues into your hats. Red Mage artifact hat, Red Mage starting hat you can buy for Gil, and is that a Sestasha headband? Why? It's Sestasha. Like, I know I said arguably level 15 is when you stop with no quality gear, but the difference between gear pieces from 1 to a Realm Reborn artifact gear is like 1 to 5 main stat total per piece. Which means a no-quality piece from 1 to 15 and that hat are barely different. And you'll probably get a drop for free anyway. Then gloves. Again! Five of the same glove! Pizza, you don't need to be doing this! Not only are they bad gear pieces, they're the same gear piece. After you hit 50, you shouldn't ever touch no-quality gear as a battle job. It's so worth li- Wait a minute. All your lockboxes. These are from your lockboxes, aren't they? Why are you letting all your lockbox loot go into your armory chest? That should go into the main inventory and immediately sold off. Be it to the vendors or the market. You're not even watching what you're taking in. <sighs> Finally, we have main hands. That's a lot of relics and a lot of trash. I believe these red mage weapons are all Stormblood or earlier. 
Get rid of the ones not being used. The Astrologian is level 90. You're not using this planisphere for anything. Bows, not being used. At least three unused fishing rods. At least three unused picks. Two unused axes, two unused pans, two unused alchemist tools. There's no way any of this is being used as glamour. The dresser is for glamour. You can even put relic replicas in there. Unless you're like me and like collecting the originals where possible. In which case, well, you're screwed on that end. Alright, the final push. Retainers and... Oh god, what is this? Look at this all. This entire page. I bet you could throw this all away and you wouldn't even miss it. Copies of the same items, no quality nearly across the board, tools and weapons that have long since lost their usefulness. I don't care what's here, toss it. When you find you actually need something, or you insist it can be used for glamour, glam dresser. If it doesn't fit in the glam dresser, take something out. Because so much room is in that dresser that only hoarding will cap it out. Page 2. We got some... Are those lost actions? Logos? Sell them or use them. And wait, what? You have more coins. Why more coins? That's three slots taken for a single stack of a single item. And the chests again. And that's the same scale, isn't it? Combine them! More gear to sell, more housing items to put in an apartment, a minion to get rid of, more dies? Is that 371... Alamegan salt? Or is that a different salt? I don't know what these craft items are, but they seem to be looking for use. I can't tell what any of these are for, but what I do see is a free excuse to sell it all off to the highest bidder. You don't need it, and you can collect it again. Use it or lose it. This last page? Alchemy stuff that seems like you are actually doing stuff with. I have a similar spread of my own from when I was actively crafting. Ask yourself this though, are you crafting? I myself am going to start selling off these kinds of alchemy supplies because I don't intend to use it anymore. I can make space instead, no reason to keep it. Not sure about those potions though, I think they're deep dungeon ones? In the meantime, keep trying to sell those bows. Keep 1-3 to three up at all times, aim to match the lowest price and not undercut. Seems like you also need to work on your market watching. But that's a different skill than we're trying to fix here. Final retainer, okay. Potions, chuck them. These green manuals, they're all gathering manuals. Your gatherers are maxed out and we're not getting another level expansion for at least another year. Plus, leveling gatherers is so easy. Chuck them. Food, sell off these unused meals and keep the eggs on you for leveling your jobs. That's 3% of EXP you're missing out on which is probably worth more than those gathering manuals are worth. Which, by the way, why are these here and not in your saddlebag with the rest of them? Check the gathering ones and actually use the crafting ones. Singular potion, use or chuck. Materia, this can be your materia retainer. Put all your materia in this one retainer. Keep all gathering and crafting materia, but battle materia loses use once everything is maxed out. Dies. Same thing applies. If you are using them, which it seems you might be, keep them. The unused are easy to obtain ones, no reason to keep. I could talk about all the different ingredients on this page, but let me point out these logs. All these logs? On average you need four or even sometimes five logs for a single piece of lumber. Two logs, not enough. Four, one lumber. Three, not enough. Sometimes is. Four, barely enough. Four, barely enough. The only logs you should actually be keeping are these 160 and 323 stacks. All the other logs, get rid of them. Those four hemp as well. Oh, and these two collectibles? That's just extra egregious. Alright, next page and... Oh god, what is with all this diadem stuff? Is this for leveling your crafters? If so, alright, there we go. This is hoarding I can approve of, but only as long as you are actually using it. You're very much towing the line here. I can see you have three of the wind sap, three of this water. Everything should be multiples of five. These relic items, sort through them, and oh my god, more Boja coins, more lockboxes, and more of these scales. 
stack everything up properly instead of having three or four slots taken by each, which it could just be one. Oh, and get rid of that one materia. Worthless. As are those 13 diamond dust I assume they are. You don't need all this. Go through it and realize the issue is that you don't toss anything and don't organize at all. Final page. I think we're just covering the same ground over and over. Try and sell those staves and wait. Something's fishy with your inventory and I think I figured out what. More fish. You shouldn't have any of this or any of these crafting ingredients at all. Decent or vendor, you don't need it. You throw nothing away at all, it seems. Stuff you don't want, stuff you don't need, you don't have a use for at all. I can sum up your entire woes with this last picture. Abyssos Necklace Coffer. You have current best-in-slot level gear pieces from Clearing Savage, and it's sitting on your retainer. Unopened to even just bump the eye level of one of your off rolls. You're taking everything you can and chucking it into your inventory to be forgotten. You need to stop. You need to re-evaluate everything here, even beyond what I've tried to advise you on. You need to stop idly collecting and start considering what you're taking in. It's time to let go. It's time to stop hoarding. In the months after Wesk's attempted intervention, pizza was seen rushing around the markets. It's not known whether they were offloading some of their inventory or adding onto their pile. Rumors spread about a mysterious adventurer rushing around the field, chucking things into their bag. Let's hope it stays just a rumor. Thanks for watching Aorzean Hoarders. Subscribe for more and for more properly structured guides. Support the show and the channel with my Patreon. Can also follow my Twitch where I'll be playing lots of other games including all the Final Fantasies, or my general gaming channel West Gaming. Can follow my Twitter for random updates or commentary. Take care, and may the power of unedited Hogsley Waste to your inventory. In addition, thank you to everyone who submitted for this series, and an extra special thanks to all my patrons. Thank you in particular to Ashtree Dweller, Ayman Al Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Diosasan, Cyrix, Ethan Olson, Ethan W, Fraser97, James Hall, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Mizella, Nick Griffin, T Rogue, Timmy, and Zero Two. See you all for next episode.